All right, welcome back. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks since we released a video. Things have been kind of crazy, but we're excited to, to get a couple more videos out here. Uh, coming up, we've got some really exciting stuff happening at this golf. Uh, we're gonna be moving some stuff around, doing a few things. But uh, one of the things with Lean is, you know, we want, the question is where the answer is, right? Which means, you know, wherever you're doing something, you need to have the tool to do it, or you need to have the information on how to do something. So one of the things that, that we've come up with and we've partnered with uh, the guys at Advanced Machinery with this is, is this stand. So every CNC, you gotta change the tool. And depending on how much material you're going through, we're having to change the tools frequently. So our, our CNC bits, we are typically getting about 300 sheets um, of melamine on our bits, but that means we're changing them every few days because we're running a hundred sheets, you know, around a hundred sheets a day, uh, give or take, depending on the day with that. So we used to come when we needed to change our bits, we come here to CNC, you pull your tool out, you know, back here and we'd walk over, you know, clear kind of to the middle of, of our CNC area, go change the tool, bring it back and take care of it. So we decided we can do better than that. We can make things more lean. So we've come up with the stand. So this is our tool, uh, our tool changer, tool holder here. So um, we have this right next to the machine. So we can come here, you know, grab our, our wrench, pull our tool out with that wrench. Then we keep, we keep stock of tools right here at the machine. So uh, we're in the process of Kanban carding those tools so each machine has the, the bits it needs. We can hurry and change the tool and then take it over, put it right back in the machine or back in business. And I know, you know, we're talking saving maybe an extra 10, 15 steps, but what typically happens when we go to change a tool is it's an interruption, right? You're in a different area, somebody may come up, you know, hey, what, you know, question about this, whatever's going on. And so it takes a little while to get your machine back up and going. And so what we like is having to stand right here, right where we need it, also on a solid base. Before we had this mounted to a cabinet, and it was just, you know, just in a, in a bad spot. You got to have a strong tool holder to torque this to the right um, setting. But now we can grab it, put it right back in the machine, come out of the safety zones, get going again. So anyway, just one of the things that we're trying to do Little things, right? It's the little things every day that we work on that we're trying to make better. So anyway, we love these stands. Um, we're really glad Advanced Machinery has decided to do these. Uh, so we'll put a link in the description below, you know, if anyone's interested in them. But anyway, just another thing we're doing to make things lean, to save step, to save time, and get the machines back up and running again. So, so question about bits. So every machine has its own bits. Do you reuse bits? Like, are they resharpened? Where do you buy them, et cetera? Yeah, so our bits, um, we, you can sharpen bits. Um, we choose not to because those bits, um, they change dimension a little bit. And because we have so many different programmers doing things and stuff like that, we've chosen not to do that because with dimensions changing just a little bit, sometimes your, your material will get off in size. So because we have four machines all running bits, we don't want this one to be one, this one to be another, having to change programs up. So, so we don't, but we take those bits and we actually recycle them. Once a year, we send them in, we get them recycled um, so they can use them again and, and do their thing. So um, our bits, we mostly use uh, the Onshrewd bits. We actually buy them through our partner at Advanced Machinery. Um, we like the Marathon coated bits. Um, we found, we've gone to the, the trade shows, things like that. And at trade shows, if any of you guys have been to those, it seems like there's about 300 bit suppliers and every one of them wants you to try one. And when we first started going to these shows a number of years ago, we would try them. We're like, yeah, that's, that's 10, 15 bucks less than what we're paying. Yeah, let's try one. But we found none of them lasted nearly as long as these marathon coded by Onshrewd. And so, we have chosen to not do anything else now because I really do get 300 sheets of melamine on a, a, a two flute 
uh, marathon coated um, bit. It's pretty amazing uh, what they'll do. And so we keep those, we keep them stocked at each machine. Um, and they've, they've been awesome for us. So we don't, we don't vary from that now. We just use those because we know they work. They don't break. But one of the secrets to bits too is your chip load. So your feeds and speeds. And so we've, we've dialed in. So we use a three eighths compression to cut all the, the outsides of our parts. And we run our machine at 22 meters a minute, 18,000 RPMs. So it's a fast cut speed, um, but it makes the bits last way longer. The, the faster that you can push the bit out of the slower RPM, the bigger the chip load and the cooler the bit will stay. And so anyway, that, that's kind of been our ideal and we've had really great luck with it. So, so with the red trays, are all of those full of bits or what are there's there, we're starting to get them full. Don't look too close because, uh, they've been, uh, they've been stealing them. I can see. So again, we're, we're getting the combine. We have a stock in our, in our cabinet over here, but so right now we have, we have three different bits. These bits are the ones that we're using all the time that we're changing more often but we're going to end up stocking our drill bits, everything at each router instead of having them in a cabinet. All right. Sorry. Some technical difficulties with our camera, but anyway. But so you're going to start to store them all at different machines. You buy the bits from advanced machinery. You bought the base from advanced machinery. This is actually your guys's brainchild though, right? Correct. So yeah, we, we uh, came up with the design and then, uh, Sean and Kobe and, and the team at Advanced Machinery um, had them made. We've loved it so far. Uh, we got two more coming for our other CNCs, so they're they're super nice. Awesome. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. We'll try and answer them. But any you guys running CNCs, try those marathon coded. Uh, you'll be super happy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.